Chris, when he wasn't exhausted, played through the middle. Oh. I think he was setting the table for people. Uh, really proud of our staff in a short turnaround on scouting. Uh, we played uh, the night before and then had a quick turnaround. But it's, it's a credit to our players. Uh, we are definitely on edge and ready to play Miami. We know they hadn't played well coming out of their last game. Uh, so we had to respect the way they can score the ball, and particularly their guards. So we're really concerned about their three point shooting and their rebounding. And uh, we wanted to try to put pressure on them on, on, in transition. And I don't know what we scored in transition, but I thought we, we did a really good job in front of the rim and set the table. Uh, we're trying to establish what's our identity, what's our identity. I've done our players about rebounding and running, rebounding and running. Last two games, I'm glad to see that Dante's back in a really good offensive rhythm, but more emotional rhythm than physical rhythm. Because, you know, when you go on those losing streets, you can beat yourself up and not believe in yourself. But this is a, a credit to somebody who's been there, done that, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of our team on how we responded, uh, responded coming off of some tough games uh, prior to us uh, playing at home and then coming down here to play. So it's a good team win. Uh, we're thinking about all-conference play now. This is a weekend that we talked about playing UMass and Miami back-to-back. -back. We thought it would be two critical resume games if we were fortunate enough to advance and win. Hopefully come March and we're able to win some games in a brutal Big East, brutal, brutal Big East as teams are playing well. We'll find ourselves hopefully playing in March with a win like today because I think Miami will play in March. And will you stay at the half after losing the lead and carrying it most of that first half? Very, uh, very calm. Um, I think you have to pick your points in time when you challenge your team. And I just said, hey, they went on the run, we'll go on the run. You know, I want everybody to be confident. Uh, you know, you can't come at your team every two seconds and uh, be too emotional with them. And, and I think that's where our leaders would come in right out the gate. Uh, I thought our leadership did a really good job. We set the tone with, I think, an 8-0 run, and I think that was the game. I mean, if you don't have that 8-0 run, I think the game's closer at the end. Final questions? Right. Just Sir, one yeah. Sir? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, just, you had a lot of balance today. I was wondering if you felt like this was your best game of the season. No. It's the best win today we had. But, you know, the best game of the season, I mean, I, you know, I mean, that's, that's a great question. Because it was good balance. Um, I thought we had, I thought we had good rhythm the last three games that we played offensive rhythm. Uh, you know, because teams are now scouting here, and you know they know people what they can do and what they can't do. But I, I thought I thought we played a complete game. Was it our best game? It was our best game today. But we, you know, we, we still have so much more improvement as you can see in the last two minutes of the game. You know, I got to do a better job coaching my club. You had a question? Uh, to be ten and three, uh, nine conference. I'm sure you're happy. Uh, we're thrilled with that, you know, uh, losing what we lost, and, and losing what we lost with uh, Cotton, Dean, Josh, I mean, you know, 40 some odd points is off the board. Um, you know, it was our goal to get double digit wins, and we upped our schedule this year in a non-conference uh, to make sure that we went out and purposely tried to play people that we feel would be tournament teams, and this is definitely one. And, you know, I, we played a great team. Uh, I think they're going to win a lot of games. I respect Coach Larinig. I think he does a really good job adjusting to the game. And, you know, we're just fortunate to advance. We had Superman here today. He did a great job. Any questions for Wadami? Wadami, you're going to shave, by the way. Larry, go ahead. What do you think when your uh, coach calls you Superman after a game like tonight? Uh, you know, uh, it's, just not, it's not just me. You know, guys like Chris Dunn, when they got you going, and Carson DeRose is playing well for us. It, for me also, you know, I take off uh, a little load off my shoulders also. And then just that push early in the second half, just talk about that a little bit. I would, like Coach said, we just wanted to get in transition. We got a lot of easy buckets in transition with Chris uh, passing the ball really well and us uh, running down the floor uh, hard and it opened things up for us. Merry Christmas, everybody.